guys, this is Big Lee. Today, I'm going to be telling you how to get from broke to rich in 15 minutes in Adopt Me. I've got the best hacks to get rich in Adopt Me right here today. So make sure to stick to the end so you know all the best hacks to get rich. But guys, before we get started, I want to see, have you joined the Bread Salami yet? Wait, you haven't joined the Bread Salami? If you haven't, what are you doing with your life? Hit that subscribe button and leave a like to join the Bread Salami right now. Let's go. I want to see if you can leave a like and subscribe before we hit the floor. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's stop Ryan, jump down to the main center. Oh no! Oh, that was fine. Sure, our frost dragon's head landed in the ground. But apart from that, that's pretty cool. That was fun. <laughs> but guys, did you leave a like and subscribe? Thank you so much. You're now part of the pretzel army. But let's go, let me show you tip number one to getting rich in 15 minutes. Before I do, you've probably already seen in the video a random pink pretzel swipe up on the screen. That's because I want you to count how many pink pretzels you see in this video for your chance to win 10,000 Robux. So count every single pink pretzel you see, including this one, this one, and this one. That's three extra pink pretzels. Count every single pink pretzel you see in this video for your chance to win 10,000 Robux. And also, if you want to win, comment down below how many you saw, leave a like, subscribe. But guys, let's go, let's get into the first hack. I'm at the farm shop update, which isn't really a new update, but still, it's pretty cool. So to start off with, what you want to do is go into toys and pull out a lemonade stand. So, or a hot dog stand, hot dog or lemonade. And then what you want to do, you can put it in two places. One place, you could just put it right next to where you buy like the diamond lavender or the new item in the update. Or you can put it right where you press the buy button. So right there is the buy button. And boom, it's right next to here. So people can either buy the diamond lavender or buy your lemonade. But that's a little bit scammy, guys. Because some people might want to buy the diamond lavender. And then they realize, no, I just paid someone 50 bucks for their lemonade. No! So guys, that is a little bit scammy. So probably don't do that version. But what you want to do is just put your lemonade stand near the update because if an update's really new, this is where people will hang out, especially if it's a Bucks update and not a Robux update. Because I found like in the winter update, the Halloween update, uh, what other updates? The Luna update, in pretty much every update, people aren't in the main center anymore. They're where the update is. So they probably won't head to the main center to buy a lemonade. They'll probably head to the new update place. So that's where you want to put it. And then if their pet's hungry or thirsty, they'll just buy your lemonade and quickly feed it to their pets. So if you are at a place where there is water and food, go and set your price to the lowest price possible because then people will buy like the $1 drink instead of like the $2 or $5 drink. You know what I mean? You catch my drift? Cool, I thought you would. The next tip to get rich is to trade the items on the first day of the update. So if a new item is put into the game, for example, like the gifts, the gifts are about to be changed out and you want to buy the brand new gifts the second that they are released because then you can trade them and you'll be able to trade them for more like when they're first released than like when everybody kind of has one. Because let's say the frost dragons just come out. They've been out for an hour and you're the first person to have a frost dragon. If you're the only person to have a frost dragon, it's gonna trade for more than if every second person has a frost dragon a week into the update, if you know what I mean? So trade the items the second the update goes out. And I'm definitely going to be doing with this with the gifts because these gifts are gonna be so awesome. Adopt Me just leaked a new potato chew toy, which is awesome. But guys, let's actually open this big gift. And this one is a, oh my gosh, it's a cute little dog leash, guys. This is gonna be taken out of the game. The dog leash will be taken out of the game really soon. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. Look at it, guys. But guys, it's going to be replaced with all new toys. And you'll just be able to go and trade them for a ton of stuff the second that they come out. Actually, let's go. Let's open a few gifts. We just got an ice cream rattle. If we grab a few gifts, guys. Wait, can we open, like, three gifts at once? Can we? Is that a thing? Can we do that? Oh, my gosh. My hair was just going... <laughs> my hair was just going so fast. We got a Led Zeppelin balloon, a soccer pro, a soccer ball toy, and oh my gosh, a protein bottle rattle, guys. Let's go. I'm going to go crazy. Let's open a massive gift, guys. What are we going to get? A rope chew toy. Just one, just one more. Please, get us the legendary hoverboard. What? Another dog leash? Okay, guys, let's go. I really, I really want to get a hoverboard. If we don't get a hoverboard within the next two gifts then I'll stop doing this. Oh, we got a plunger grappling hook, guys. That's awesome. Okay, last gift. Let's go. What's this one going to be? Oh, guys, that's awesome. From a big gift, we got a hoverboard. That's so cool, guys. Oh, my gosh. 
I was gonna spend all my bucks until we got a hoverboard out of the big gifts anyway, guys. That's awesome! I never thought that we'd actually get a legendary vehicle out of one of these gifts, like the mediocre gifts. Like, I've only ever gotten them from the massive gifts, guys. That's actually really awesome. But guys, pretty much whenever a new item comes into the game, if it's an egg, if it's a toy, if it's a new pet, trade it the second it comes out. And it's even better if it's a Robux pet because they are just so rare. And guys, the next one actually kind of links with the one that we just talked about. You buy the items just before they leave the game. So if the items are about to leave the game, for example, the fossil egg. The fossil eggs are leaving the game really soon and are going to be replaced with the awesome ocean eggs. So just before the fossil eggs leave the game, buy a ton of fossil eggs. Just so you can trade them once they're out of the game and unavailable because they're so rare. Like, for example, Aussie eggs, super rare. Safari eggs, I think we might actually have one. Guys, the safari eggs are so, so rare because they're not in the game anymore and you can't get them. So if you want to trade something and you want it to be super rare, like the fossil eggs aren't very rare now, but let's say in a month's time, once they're out of the game and have been out of the game for a month, guys, boom. They will be so, so, so rare. So guys, just before they leave the game, go and buy a ton of that egg. Uh, I did this with the Aussie egg and I spent quite a bit of grinding time to buy this many Aussie eggs. And actually, oh gee, I've opened way too many. Let's open another one. <laughs> guys, let's actually go, let's open an Aussie egg. Let's hatch it now, guys. And this is actually a really stupid idea because you don't want to hatch them once they're out of the game. You want to trade them. But guys, we got a cute little emu. That's awesome. So you want to trade the pets, items, or eggs once they're out of the game but because that's when they're the rarest. The next way to get rich is actually really simple. You want to switch to being a baby and pull out any pet. Let's go. Let's pull out a diamond ladybug just so we can do it with this one. Okay, then you want to head inside the school and go to where Pet Trainer Shane is. Hey, Pet Trainer Shane, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, Aussie to Aussie, what's up? You good? Awesome. Pet Trainer Shane is one of my best mates, you know, good friend. <laughs> what you want to do, though, is you want your diamond ladybug to go into the bed, and you want to go either into the bed or you want to put something heavy on your space bar. So that way you'll be able to be AFK or come back to your keyboard every five, 10 minutes and just press the space bar and so you jump or like move around just so you don't get kicked out of the game because Adopt Me actually kicks people after 20 minutes of being AFK. So this is actually a way to get money AFK. So if you need to do chores, just jump into the school and then leave, go do your chores, come back in 20 minutes time, you know, jump up and down, move around and then go continue your chores and then come back and your money will just go up, 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 up and up and you're not even doing anything, which is really awesome. To do this even better is to actually go on a private server and do it so people don't come in and pick you up. Or if you can't go on a private server, but you just want to create a family and don't invite anybody to your family. Have your family empty. Dude, that, that sounded real dark. <laughs> just have your family completely empty. Only you and your pets are in your family so that nobody can pick you up and nobody can move you. This next whack, you want to head over to your house. That's right, guys. It's a tip inside of your house. For this one, you want to have a grinding room. And you're probably thinking, Presley, what's a grinding room? Well, let me show you. I've actually got a house fully dedicated to grinding. It's called my grinding tree house. So let's go. Let's go to that house and let me show you what a grinding room is. So I'm pretty sure you know what grind means. It means like working really hard to make something or get something in a video game or something in real life. And a grinding room in Adopt Me is a room that can make you a ton of money. Guys, take a look at this. It's a bunch of beds, a bunch of pianos, a bunch of baths, and a bunch of food and water bowls to get the most amount of money. Let me show you how it works. So I just got a task. I'm sleepy. So then I can do this right here. You know, I can go to bed in this place. If I was stinky and I needed to have a bath, boom, I could jump in the bath. If my pet was hungry, then boom, my pet can eat right there. If I'm bored and I need to go to the playground or play the piano, boom, I can do it right here. So you can do almost every single task from your house in a grinding room, and all you need is a bed, a bar, food and water bowls. That's it. And if you have a few extra bucks laying around, grab two pianos, one for you and one for your pet, and then guys, you'll be able to do this so well. You'll be so, so rich because every time you get a task, you'll be able to do it within 10 seconds. And if it's a task where you have to leave your house, teleport to the gifts, 
grapple to like the place where you need to go. For example, let's say you need to go to the school, teleport to the gifts, use your grappling hook to get to the school, and then reset your characters to get back home. That way you can get to the school super fast, leave the school super fast, and get back home to your grinding room super duper fast. So the grinding room pretty much makes you be able to do any task really fast so that none of your tasks time out or anything. For the last hack, we need to jump on a public server. Let's go. Okay, so this hack is to trade from nothing to legendary. What you want to do for this one is start off with either nothing or a common pet. So let's go, let's pull out our cute little doggy, guys. Let's start with a nice normal dog. And then what you want to do from there is say in the chat, trading dog for uncommon pet or trading dog for snow cat. And then you can go and trade someone, and then you give them a dog, they give you a snow cat. So you go from common to uncommon. Let me show you. So trading dog for snow cat. There we go. I just said it in the chat. Trading dog for snow cat. Snow cat. And then people can come up to you and then give you da da da, -da a snow cat. And then with your snow cat, so you go from uncommon to rare. So you can go trading a snow cat for a snow puma. And then people give you a snow puma. So you get to rare. Then from rare, you trade your rare pet for an ultra rare pet, and then your ultra rare pet for a legendary. And that's how you get rich in under 15 minutes. I did it in under 10 minutes, which was pretty crazy. And it's actually really easy. So that's a simple way to get a legendary pet in under 15 minutes, guys. So, so guys, make sure to check out all these hacks for yourself. This is actually a fan. I'm going to chat with her and maybe give her a free pet. But guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and have the best day ever. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace!